Greetings everyone, welcome back to Road to 88 Suarez of episode 8 And yeah guys, we're slowly progressing through this series And um, yeah, we're just going to quickly put Yesil into our team now Basically um, sorting out a starting 11 for our next game we're going to play now So yeah, and also we'll give Yesil his squad number And yeah, we're we'll going to get started I know what you think, it's probably a risk playing with a bronze striker up front In his Liverpool attack, but we've got no choice really Because Aspas is low on fitness, but We'll see what happens. So the first game we're against um, Manx All Stars, and he's got a four-one-two-one-two Syria squad with um, Vukanic, Pogba at Cam, Biabiani for the pace, as you can see, and a random Evra. But yeah, anyway, guys, first thing is the game. Yes, it's through on goal. Can he get a goal on his debut? Just about gets past the goalkeeper. Just about has enough pace on the ball to slide it into the empty net to make it one-nil. So actually, like, yes, it's not bad. He scored on his debut. That was a very nice goal. Second goal, guys. Basically, the guy wasn't playing. He put his controller down for some reason, and obviously, no, it's a bit of a dick move. But I took advantage of it, like anyone should, you know, to try and get the win. And Yesil has a shot from there and scores a very nice goal past the keeper to make it 2-0. And that was a nice finish by him. Even if the guy wasn't playing, but it's still a nice finish, you know, for him. He's not a bad bronze striker, you know. If you're ever making a bronze team, guys, get Yesil. He's not bad. And we get our second, third goal here. Moses has the ball, has a shot brilliantly. Unlucky hits the bar. Sterling picks up the piece and just about puts it in to make it 3-0. And yeah, guys, um, maybe in the future episodes, guys, do you want me to do different celebrations? Cause I can, because I haven't unlocked any celebrations. Because keeping doing the bum dance one, it's quite repetitive, isn't it? And um, should I try and unlock other celebrations? You know, but I'll, I'll try using other ones for each game. Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, the guy quit the game. He had enough. At 3-0 down, he had couldn't come back. It's even the stats there. It. So we absolutely dominated. So it's not a bad, not bad by yes. So anyway, guys, we're gonna check the players. You know, we did some trading. We made some profits here. Debushi, who we brought for 100 something coins, 150 coins. We sold him for 700 coins, and Monreal sold him for 700 as well. So that is a really good profit, guys. On Flamini and Cruel, however, we haven't made profit. Yet. So we're gonna try and lower the price a bit, to try and still make a little bit of a profit. But uh, yeah, guys, this is the trade I'm talking about. Just, just searching for non-rare. Premier League players and then typing in, you know, the 500 coin maximum price, you know, bidding and then just bid on them and see which ones go higher. But anyway, guys, we're gonna buy, make our first little proper little striker signing. I'm gonna buy Daniel Sturridge, who's our uh, second top scorer who scored over 21 goals in the league this season, 25 in all competitions. And yeah, Sturridge, we're finally able to afford him, guys. And we put him into the team, yeah. And, um, you know, I'm give contracts to Torre and and you know I'm pretty glad we got um what you call it I'm, well we're playing Sissoko instead of Marinke but I'm pretty glad we've got Sturridge is a very good player and also we've got a squad number of number 15 we've got his upgraded 82 rated card and he's not a bad player on FIFA guys but in my opinion I liked him more last year but then again the game was more pace based FIFA 13 was but FIFA 14 it's more focused on strength as well as pace and into our second game of the match guys against 4-1-2-1-2 Bundesliga team he's got the sweaty Aubameyang with Mandzukic up front I hate Aubameyang guys you don't have no idea how annoying he is but yeah straight right into the game he, Mandzukic is in I don't know how my defender didn't bother to get the ball there and he put it in past Minule to make it 1-0 to him which was very annoying and yeah and obviously guys now that we've got storage of purposes can we score a debut goal with the D D storage can we do it and Allen crosses the ball here a bit deflected here the guy clears it stupidly which lands to Johnson and Johnson gives a storage who's in space and with right foot puts it past Adler to make it 1-0 storage scored on his debut yeah and we are drawing 1-0 at half time but yeah it's even there how did Torre not get the ball from Mandzukic there but anyway from the stats you know, we should be winning. I thought we were doing very well. But yeah, guys, this game in the second half lasted one all forever till right at the end, till near the end of the game where the guy started to pace abuse. And look at this. I uh, I don't even know. That was the that was such a EA AIDS goal. It's such a jammy goal. My, I tackled um, Abamyang with um, Soko. Goes my player. Hits his striker. Good, hits my goalkeeper, goes back to him, he scored and then he makes it 3-1 with Mandzukic right at the end you know when I was pushing up trying to get that equaliser but obviously guys we've lost this game you know we're losing 3-1 now, 79th minute I don't think we'll come back from this but it's a bit annoying and obviously again he's in with Amiang and he puts it past Mandzukic to make it 4-1 the score was very flattering for him guys, he, I did not deserve to lose let alone lose 4-1 you know McLean obviously taking the piss, celebrating down, running down, half down halfway down the pitch and yeah guys Fortunately, we lost 4 1. It's not a very good debut for Storage. Aspas, for my opinion, would be more effective than Storage, which is a bit funny, but. 
got some coins still but yeah I know from the stats he dominated but that was like towards the end if you know what I mean but yeah we're still stuck on 15 points we need to get another 3 points then we're in division 6 so yeah and into our next game now he's got a Juventus kit and I've got a white kit I don't know what the hell he's doing and we're against a Colombian side well we were going to go into it but when it when he went to the game the guy disconnected for some reason I don't know why so we're going to try that again just going the contract now it's a bit annoying because it wastes coins for us you know what I mean I don't know why the guy would quit when he was EA but into our final game this episode now who are we up against got the Zenit badge I think Zenit in Petersburg I don't think that is Zenit I don't know <laughs> and it's Alago he's got a 4-1-2-1-2 Premier League team Remy and Hernandez William Morales Fellaini, Nasri, Louise, Koscielny, Johnson, Baines, and checking goal. So yeah, early in the game, Coutinho puts Sturridge in. Sturridge has the ball here and has time to just slot it past the goalkeeper to make it 1-0. And it was a very nice finish by Sturridge. And we're not done yet. Moses gives the ball to Sturridge. Sturridge turns Koscielny, has the keeper just to beat again. With another finesse shot on his left foot past check to make it 2-0. And give us a very nice two-goal lead. And yeah, we did that not celebration that um, respect celebration, I don't know why I was doing it, it does it automatically for me I think, I'll try and do a storage shot, I need to find out how to do that, but yeah, st still in the second half, storage feeds the ball to Sterling, Sterling's on the run, he's on the run, he's on the run, crosses it in, and Moses out jumps Baines to make it 3-0, and give us a comfortable lead, and hopefully leading us on to Division 6, Division 7 title, to, in order for us to get to Division 6, and yeah guys, um, this guy had enough, like, um, while showing the replays, he got a bit pissed off, I think, and decided to quit the match, and, yeah, I think he quit. Yeah, he pauses the game here. Hmm, on the stats, he hasn't even had a shot. You know, and, um, you know, he just quit the game. Lost connection with him, and we got a win, and guys, we've won the Division 7 title now, and we are back in Division... No, no, not back in, we are now in Division 6, which is brilliant. From the stats there, we absolutely deserve that win, you know. Quite a few rage quits in the episode, wasn't it, guys? But yeah, anyway, guys, we've got 18 points, won the league, with two games to spare, and we've won 5,000 coins. And with those coins, guys, we are going to make another sign in the next episode, guys. We'll do some more trading. So yeah, we're going to end the episode by buying the Liverpool legend, Steven Gerrard. Alright, we finally have to buy him, guys, and I'm so glad we have. And also, when we buy him, we gave him the number 8 squad number, made him our captain. Put him in the mid, put him our set piece take up. You know, Stephen Gerrard, guys. In episode 9, we'll find out how we do with Gerrard. So, yeah, and we got him for 2,000 something coins. See, I'm just looking for the price, good best price to buy him. But, um, yeah, he's a very good player on this game, guys. I recommend him. He's got, he's got alright pace, he's got a good shot, amazing shot, 99 shot power. I'm gonna buy him here for 2,400 2, coins, I believe. Yeah, with 29 contracts, a bit lucky. So that was really nice, and um, oh sorry guys, just got a message, but yeah, Gerard, we got him for 2,400 coins, brilliant, and um, we're going to store him in our club, and yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Road to 88 Suarez, and I'll see you in episode 10, where we'll test out Gerard. See you later guys, take care, I'm going to burp in a minute, bye, <laughs> hang on, oh, a little quiet one, but anyway, see you guys, bye.